Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power 4 over x equals 8. And by the way, this problem is from Romania. It's a really nice problem and we've done similar problems before. So you can also check them out. So we have this problem and we're going to be solving for x values. Obviously, it's easy to guess, right? If there is a rational or integer solution, you can definitely guess. But we're going to verify those solutions. Now, if x is positive, first of all, let's think about that. We don't know if x is positive or negative, but if x is positive, then we can use what is called AMGM inequality. So that's what we're going to use here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you AMGM. We're going to do a little bit of differentiation, a little bit of calculus. I'll show you the results from Wolfram Alpha, and also we're going to be looking at the graph at the end. Okay? Let's get started. So AMGM inequality is basically you take two numbers and evaluate or find their arithmetic mean or average, and it's always going to be greater or equal to their geometric mean. That's what AMGM means. So AM arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to GM. And you can easily test this with numbers like 2 and 8, for example. 2 plus 8 divided by 2 is 5. And the square root of 2 times 8, which is the geometric mean, by the way, is going to be 4. And as you can see here, 5 is greater than or equal to 4. This is not a proof. I'm just giving you an example. But that's how it works. Can they be equal? Yes, if you're talking about a bunch of numbers, they're positive and they're am equals gm, then th those numbers are all equal. For example, take x, their average, x and x is x. If you evaluate their geometric mean, it's also x again. Again, remember here that x is positive, okay? So let's see what happens with our numbers. But we're going to start with the exponents first. So I'm going to go ahead and compare them x plus 4 over x divided by 2, which is the arithmetic mean, is supposed to be greater than or equal to the geometric mean. By the way, the geometric mean of two numbers is the square root of their product. So we're going to multiply x and 4 over x and take the square root. This is nice because x is going to cancel out. That's actually a good sign to use AMGM, especially if you have terms that cancel out. So that cancels out, leaving us with a 2. And then if you go ahead and cross multiply here, you get x plus 4 over x is greater than or equal to 4. Such a weird sign, but anyways, you get the idea, right? Okay. And some people uh, make it like this, and that's perfectly fine. Same thing. So now we got an inequality, a bound, kind of like a lower bound for x positive. Uh, that's nice, uh, sort of like a minimum. And uh, we can kind of look for more options. But let's go ahead and apply to the exponential exponential situation first. So from this, I'm going to save this and then go into the exponential world. So what about if we compare these two numbers, 2 to the x and 2 to the power 4 over x? Their arithmetic mean is supposed to be greater than or equal to their geometric mean, which is the square root of their product. By the way, 2 to the x and 2 to the power 4 over x are always positive, no matter what x is. Oh, so we don't need that requirement here, but we, we already have it. So x cancels out, and we end up with something nice. Wait, that doesn't cancel out. What am I talking about? Okay, I'm kind of confusing myself here. Uh, the exponents are supposed to be added. Okay, so this is going to turn into the square root of the square root of 2 to the power x plus 4 over x. So it's nice. We have the 2 to the power x plus 4 over x on the right-hand side inside the radical, which is nice because we do have an inequality for the exponent. And on the left-hand side, we have 2 to the x plus 2 to the power 4 over x. That's also nice because, remember, it was equal to 8. It is equal to 8. So we already know that this is 8, right? So 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 is greater than or equal to something. Let's evaluate this one. Now, we do know that this is true right? x plus 4 over x is greater than or equal to 4. So what can I write about this? I can basically say, hey, do 2 to the power both sides. And then this is also going to be true because 2 is greater than 1. And from here you get 16. So this expression is greater than or equal to 16. So this is greater than or equal to 16. Its square root is going to be greater than or equal to 4. Make sense? 
Okay, awesome. Now, here's what we have. We have four here on the left-hand side, all the way on the left-hand side, and all the way on the right-hand side we have four, but there's a chain of equations and inequalities. So we got four is greater than or equal to four. Or if you wanted to look at it separately, uh, this expression, you know, is greater than or equal to four, and this expression is actually equal to four, right? So we have something that is equal to four, greater than or equal to four, which means we got an equality. In order for this to be true, they all have to be equals, so it means that, because this is what we got, let me kind of quickly summarize. We got 2 to the x plus 2 to the 4 over x is greater than or equal to 8, right? If you just think about it, uh, forget about uh, the value that you don't know the value of this. So we got this from here. Let me erase this. This is probably confusing. This is better. So this guy here is greater than or equal to 8 based on this, but we already know it's equal to 8. So when are they equal? Uh, when the numbers are equal. So this means 2 to the x equals 2 to the power 4 over x. From here, x equals 4 over x. And then by cross multiplication, you get x squared equals 4, which gives you two solutions, x equals 2 and x equals negative 2. Great. So, but remember what we said about x. We said that, hey, x needs to be positive. Therefore, we're not going to consider that solution in AM. GM. So x equals 2 seems to be satisfying this equation, and you can definitely go ahead and check. If you plug in x equals 2, you're going to get 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 2, which is equal to 8. So x equals 2 works, but what about x equals negative 2? If you replace x with negative 2, 2 to the negative 2 plus 2 to the negative 2 is going to be 1 fourth plus 1 fourth, which is 1 half. Unfortunately, negative 2 does not satisfy, and it, we kind of verified it with the AMGM. It just didn't come up. So let's go ahead and look at this from a calculus perspective real quick. So if you consider the function f of x equals 2 to the x plus 2 to the 4 over x, differentiate both sides, you're going to get 2 to the x times ln 2 plus 2 to the 4 over x times the derivative of 4 over x, which is negative 4 over x squared times ln 2. Obviously, we're going to set it equal to 0, and from here, we're going to pull out ln2, so we can divide by ln2, and we get something like this, 2 to the x equals 4 times 2 to the power 4 over x over x squared, so on and so forth. And, you know, it's not always easy to find the solution in this case, but you can kind of combine a couple things here, like this is 2 to the second power, uh, so we get x squared times 2 to the x equals 2 to the power 4 over x plus 2, and you can write it as 4 over 4 plus 2x over x if you want, or you can divide both sides by 4 to the x, and that's going to give you x squared equals 2 to the power. In other words, we're kind of um, subtracting x from this because we're dividing by 2 to the x, so that's going to give us 4 over x minus x plus 2, something like that. Okay, anyways, this is what we got. It doesn't give us a really nice solution from here. Maybe there's a way to find it. I don't know, but I just, gonna sh I just want to show you the minimum values of our function well, from alpha gives us two values at x equals negative 2. We already verified this. And x equals 2, we get 8, which is our original value. And let's go ahead and take a look at the graph, and we'll just finish up. As you can see here, our graph has two minimums, or minima. Uh, but on the positive side, we got the x, x equals 8 value, which is what we are looking for. Therefore, x equals 2 would be the only solution. By the way, this is scaled, so this is a 2, not a 1. And x equals 2 is the only solution to this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.